In this video, Bradford Mitchell and I are going to review for you, the good people of YouTube, the McPherson Carbon Fiber Sable Acoustic Guitar. What a feat of science and engineering this thing is. The future, really is. the future is now, Bradford. The future is now, old man. <laughs> so we have had this guitar in our possession for maybe a month or so. Something like that. Yeah, and uh, we've used it Two in months. a variety of settings. Uh, live studio plugged Live in studio. direct in the studio recording on an album uh just playing just sitting playing guitar hanging out with it um and we have to this thing is spectacular it's cherry spectacular, spectacular. it is nice five uh, out of five cheeseburgers yes so um it doesn't look like a regular acoustic guitar because it is you may have noticed mo most acoustic guitars are made out of wood wood this is made out of carbon fiber the whole thing is carbon fiber everything except the si I even think the bridge pins are although this white dot in the middle I'm gonna guess these aren't maybe aren't maybe McPherson can jump in and say yes Brian the bridge pins are carbon fiber we are we go to that level of excellence but the saddle is not the the nut is not. The uh, tuners are not carbon fiber, and the frets are not carbon fiber, and the fret markers are not carbon fiber, but everything else is. The the body, the bracing inside the body, the end pin is not, of course. I was going to say all the stuff that matters, but there's other stuff Those that's not carbon that matters. Yeah. The neck is carbon fiber. The fret board is carbon fiber. So um, these things, and these, you know, the neck and the fret board are what you really interact with the most on a guitar. Like what you feel, and we'll talk about the feel and the build quality here in a bit. Um, but you see a, a guitar made of carbon fiber, and first of all, carbon fiber is is stronger than steel, which is impressive, and and very lightweight. So Superman should have been the man of carbon fiber, not the man. The of man steel. of carbon fiber, yes, but that's weird. The man of carbon, which all men have carbon in them. All, all people, everyone have carbon. Every in living them. thing has carbon in it that makes them organic. We've talked about my. My displeasure at the use of the word organic in our modern culture today. He was a chem major. I was a, I was a chemistry major in college. So, um, yeah, so you see this and you might think, is that made out of plastic? What is we that? We know what you're thinking. It is not. It's made out of carbon fiber. Supercars, are like Lamborghinis are made out of carbon fiber because it's super strong, super light. So what that means super is... Fast. And they are super fast, but that has more to do with the, the car engine. than it does the, <laughs> the motor the in it. Yeah. Well, the carbon fiber does add to the lowered weight of the car, which allows it to drive faster. And that's a thing. Okay. Um, the thing about this is this will not move. So McPherson is up in Wisconsin, right? And we were talking to him like oh. when it was really, really cold. They said they would take like one of these. Negative digits. They they would take one of these guitars out in like minus you know twenty degree weather, and uh, oh, thank you. And just let it get super cold, and then bring it back inside to a seventy degree Fahrenheit uh, environment, and it's like still in tune. Doesn't even change the tuning. And so <laughs> a normal acoustic guitar made out of wood would probably crack at negative wood, twenty. <laughs> yeah. So wood will expand and contract with temperature changes. It will dry out with lack of humidity or swell with more humidity. All of these things mean that the, the wood is constantly moving. So in a lot of cases you can get, you know, a big, uh, uh, the bridge will lift up because it will pull. Uh, the neck will warp. A lot of guitars, uh, like the Martin guitars that I have, like they'll develop this big hump right here where the, where the neck meets the body. And you have to get a neck reset done, which is not a cheap thing to do or an easy thing to do especially on an older guitar this thing never it will not move at all like the the neck is completely carbon fiber it's it's a couple times There's no truss rod yeah it's a couple times stronger than steel so um and even in their wood guitars they don't they don't use a traditional truss rod they put in a carbon fiber insert did you know that i did not know that it's cool so I'm even on their things. wood guitars the the necks don't even move because they're, it's mostly carbon fiber. That's impressive. For a touring musician, especially if you're going from one climate to the next, or if you live in a place, like if you live near the coast where there's a lot of humidity and stuff, um, like, and you're, you have to constantly monitor the level of humidity or temperature, this thing, you don't have to worry about that at all. It'll never, never, ever give you a problem. So the question then is, how does it sound? Because you, you see a synthetic guitar. I can answer this one. Wear some headphones. Yes. Do yourself a favor.
So, <laughs> sounds pretty awesome. I'll step back. When they first yeah. told us they were sending us one, mm-hmm. I was like stoked because I it's heard, heard yeah. tales of McPherson. It's crazy how detail oriented these guys mm-hmm. are. And so, you know, it was like this dilemma in my brain. I was like, McPherson setting a guitar, it's going to be awesome. But I'm like, yeah. but it's carbon fiber. And, like, just, and just for context, like McPherson is extremely high end. Yeah. So their wood guitars yeah. start around $10,000. It's like the Lamborghini of acoustic guitars. These are about a third of that cost. Yeah, because they can make, make more of them faster. Yeah. Because of the nature of carbon Because fiber. of the nature of it all. So, yeah. context. So I was like... Carbon fiber, but it's McPherson. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to go with the fact that it's a McPherson. It's going to be awesome. Well, because you probably had the same preconceived idea that I did, that if you make a synthetic guitar, you're going to sacrifice tone. Yeah. Like, I'm, I was just confused. And you would think, why would McPherson choose to sacrifice tone? Yeah. And I was like, there's no way. Yeah. So I I chose, I'm like, it's McPherson. It's going to be awesome. If you want to see like our like really real first impressions, go find that unboxing. stream. Yeah. And we did the unboxing. And like... I tuned it up and I hit a chord and I was floored. Was it this chord? I think there's that David played and it pleased the Lord. I'm just gonna let it ring. It just keeps going. It's still going. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so it's got like this, like I mean, it's like a cannon, but yeah. it's like not overly low end heavy. Right. It's balanced. Right. Like it's Brian, the most balanced guitar I've ever heard. It's so incredibly yeah. cool. Like Brian CEO seven back there has this cool like it's very, mid-range very wood thing. kind of like this kind of a thing. Yeah, and it's which super is awesome cool. in certain contexts. Yeah. But then you have this and it's like wow. It's like it's just like the everything. Whole spectrum. Yeah. So like it's got great highs, it's got great mids, got great lows, so mm-hmm. you know, balanced. Mm-hmm. But it's not overbearing in any sense of the term. Yeah, in in any, any, any part of the spectrum. No, like no. it's not too bright, it's not too bassy, no. too mid rangey. Yeah, it's very 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 smooth. V nice. Yeah. V nice. One, one thing I love about it is is acoustic guitar is a percussive instrument. Often in a full mix, it, it's more of a felt thing, especially if it's driven by like electric guitars and synth mm-hmm. and stuff. You more feel acoustic than any, than than you. Or you hear the. Yeah, right. You hear the strings. I mean, it's very. It thumps, it's which like I a piano. really yeah. It's like it's you hit a big note on a piano, and I really like that about some some acoustic guitars feel a little more spongy. I don't know what the right word is. A little soft on the attack. I resonate with that, and I don't like that. I like a guitar that like <laughs> like the attack is very punchy. Yeah, and that's what this thing does. It is like everything I ever wanted to hear and feel in an acoustic, and this is just ruined. It's ruined you for all other, other acoustic, acoustic guitars. guitars. Yeah. And like normally I like I have a great one. I have a great Martin that I like, yeah. but like I'm I don't care much about it. <laughs> like it sounds good and like Who's I in play the market it, for a Martin? What is it? A triple O seventeen yeah. SM. <laughs> I play it and I like I it, but deal. like normally when I play acoustic it's because I have to. Like Yeah, you're not, more of an electric guy. I'm an electric guy. So like yeah. I'm like I gotta do an acoustic set or I gotta do a song at a wedding or something yeah, like yeah. that. And so I need to have an acoustic. I'm much more of an acoustic guy. You're, yes, always and you love it. And like, like mm-hmm. I don't want any other acoustic, but one of these now. Yeah, so. it does sound. <laughs> it does sound really, really good. So thanks Here's, for that, McPherson. Yeah, <laughs> you've ruined him. Here's another sample of what this thing sounds like, and we're also going to show you um, what it sounds like plugged in, and then I'm going to talk about this this pickup and that whole experience with McPherson. <laughs>
Okay, so when, when McPherson sent this to us, uh, stock, what these guitars come with, is an LR Bags, I forget, maybe an Element, undersaddle piezo pickup, or piezo, depending on how you say it. Let's start a let's start an internet debate. Is it piezo or piezo? I'm on team piezo. I like piezo because pie. <laughs> anyway, um, I am a huge fan of the LR Bags Anthem pickup. We both are. Yeah, and so all the guitars that I play, the acoustic guitars that I play, have anthems in it. And my and so I told McPherson, like I said, I really like the anthem pickup. Like my whole workflow for making videos and, and post production is sort of is geared around that pickup and what it will do. And they said, oh, okay, no problem. And the next thing I knew, I had a a, a shipping label. I sent it off to McPherson literally within a week, within seven days. They paid for shipping both ways. They installed the Anthem. This is an Anthem SL. Uh, they, and they said, you need the Anthem SL because of, I think it's because of the uh, the, the way it fits in the sound hole or something. Yeah, um, but really it sounds just like else, the so. Anthem. And so... Um, it has a few less features than a, than a full... Any, this is not about the Anthem SL. Um, they, they installed it and sent it back to me completely free of charge. And they said that is something that they do for any of their customers. If they want a specific pickup system, they'll, if it's possible for them, their sound hole, is, as you have noticed, I'm sure, is a little different than a traditional guitar. It's kind of their thing. Uh-huh. And there's, there's a reason for that, um, but they'll do that. Like the, the level of customer service that I've experienced from McPherson has been second to none uh, with any company that I've, I've worked with. They are great, and they want to make their customers, hopefully you, happy. <laughs> gathered about McPherson there's a couple reasons why they've done this design so one thing is the sound hole is offset up here and if you if you notice the neck is is a cantilevered design so the neck is 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 uh, attached to the body here but it floats on top of the guitar like if you know what a Gretsch hollow body looks like, oh, they kind of yeah. do that too. Like it's it's, it's like a avatar body. floating. So Lanes. in a in a typical acoustic guitar, for the for the the builder to set the neck in, they've got to cut away all this material out of the body. Yeah, like a little set knowledge. the neck in. Yeah. Right. But McPherson doesn't, so the body actually goes all the way to here, and it's hollow all the way up. And there's no sound hole in the middle, which allows a lot more surface area on the top of the That's guitar. That's crazy. To, to, to reverberate or vibrate. That, and that's what makes a, a guitar sound like what it sounds like, an acoustic, is how much... I mean, there's a lot more that goes into it, but that top, how much that's it can move, cool. is what gives a guitar its sound or its tone. It's like they thought about and this. And so they've... Yeah, they basically designed a guitar where they got the maximum amount of surface area on the top to be able to move. Um, and this one has a cutaway, and you could say, well, that takes away from it, but it also gives you... Pretty awesome fret access all the way. Well, I would the say that they can't afford to do the cutaway because that at least is because they've given themselves a lot more. Yeah, they, so yeah. that at least is useful at that point. Yeah. Whereas before, they kind of if you have to put a guitar neck into a body that way, it's yeah. yeah. So yeah, in a traditional That's guitar with a cutaway, you're removing all of this area that can move all of this area that can move and all of this area so and then that's um, a good point because then the holes there and then the area around the hole to mm -hmm. to resonate is less and it really cuts it all out yeah i'm so learning that's, things that's that's Science. the whole idea behind the 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 sound hole plus it looks pretty it looks it's kind I of like polarizing it. i think a yeah. lot of people are like eh, i don't like it or a lot of people really i think it looks pretty awesome i've always and it's kind of their it. deal so um let's talk about build quality attention to detail Every note just rings all the way up the neck. Look at that. Like it's all in tune. The intonation is perfect. Nothing frets out. Like if I play it, you know, I can hit, listen to how loud these notes are all the way up here. I mean, that's impressive. You can, you know, you can bend stuff up here. 
and it will not fret out. It still rings. Um, so it's just, you put capos on, on the neck and it just rings clear. I've never played an acoustic that is that, like, just perfectly, like, it's just perfectly engineered. Um, and I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that they're dealing with carbon fiber. And carbon, it's the same every single time. Every piece of wood is different. You know, so when you're building a guitar out of wood, there's going to be difference, but the carbon fibers, and they said that's why they can make more of them and make them cheaper. It's because it, it's just exactly the same every Probably single time. A quicker process too. Yeah. <laughs> the frets are uh, EVO gold frets, which are harder than standard nickel frets. And they've said that they're about the same strength as like a, the same hardness as, as a stainless, stainless steel, steel fret. So it'll last a lot longer. But yeah, fret work on this thing. Perfect. Talk about the neck, because the neck is carbon fiber. Yes. Right? So you're used to putting your hand on a wood I'm neck hold it this way for this. with either a gloss finish or a satin finish. Yeah. This is sort of a satin. Well, if you've ever felt like, just in the, like material-wise, if you've ever felt yeah. like a, a sur neck, a lot of times they have oh, yeah, like this yeah. matte kind of finish. I do enjoy that. It's very similar, except this doesn't feel like, obviously this isn't wood, so this is going to feel It feels a little different, different yeah. Yeah. Like I don't want to say plastic because it's not plastic, it's but not, like, yeah. but like it doesn't it doesn't it necessarily yeah it doesn't necessarily feel like wood, but it doesn't feel like not wood. It feels high end. I'll it say feels that. really like, nice. You say plastic and you think cheap. It's really not smooth. Bad. Yeah. It like it's quick. It's quick. I mean it's. I mean it's, it's not soft. sticky. It's yeah. not sticky. I mean it's like, I mean you're, this is what how you play the guitar is the mm -hmm. neck. You use the neck. So like it's yeah. very important that it feels good, and it I mean it is it's and not the same like with the shape too yeah. yeah yeah it's a great profile the fretboard is sort of the same feel as the back of the neck it is and uh, it feels really nice it's very smooth everyone that has laid their hands on this thing like Fuller used it for example our church just released an EP of original music and Fuller did a lot of the production so he played this acoustic for every track I think he told me I think pretty close and he gave it back to me he said Brian I can I can never play another acoustic guitar on an album recording again he's like what you get in a recording is just perfect because you can get anything you want because it's so balanced yeah. you can just shape it EQ it yeah um he said, it's the best recording guitar I've ever used in my life. And Fuller's done a ton of recording. He has. So I, I've let a L.A. <laughs> yeah, he has. I've let L.A. use this at our church. Uh, he usually leads from acoustic. He calls this guitar, he doesn't call it, he doesn't even call it the Wakanda guitar. He just calls it Wakanda. He said, Brian, can you bring Wakanda this week so I can play it? <laughs> he loves it. And then he keeps saying, he's like, last time I let him play, he's giving it back. He's like, Brian, what, what are the chances I could take this home? For a week or so zero i was like i gotta make videos with it la <laughs> come on man so um yeah everyone who's played this chris sly was over uh a week or two ago and, and i was like chris you gotta try this and he strummed a chord and he looked at it and he looked at me and he goes the way this guitar sounds just doesn't make any sense to me like it just sounds so good i resonate with that made out of a synthetic material um mm -hmm. so it really is impressive if you're able to play one uh, definitely, and I, you know, there, there's probably a selected dealers that you can play them, so it might not be, you know, that feasible for you to play one, but they really, really are impressive instruments, and uh, especially if you're looking for something that is maintenance free. If you're a touring guy, I mean, you need to put girl, strings on it and um, clean it, but yeah, that's about it. So, thank you, McPherson, for giving us the opportunity to try this thing out. Yes, thank we you. at Worst Tutorials really love it, highly, highly recommended. And again, uh, McPherson's just, they're the nicest people to work with. So if you reach out to them, tell, tell them we sent you. you. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.